Okay, in the previous video, we created the Intune Win file of our Google Chrome that we'll be using PS App Deployment Toolkit. So let's create that application. So I'm in my tenant here. We go Apps, and this is going to be for Windows. And we have our previous uh, Firefox and Google Chrome from previous. So let's add. And we have done this before, so I'm going to go through this pretty quickly. We're going to do a Windows app, a Win32. So let's click Select here. And we're going to select our app package. So I click here and click on the blue folder. And it remembered the last package, which was Firefox. So we go up one to Intune. And here we got our friend 95. And we go to the output. And here we have the Intune Win file. And it will not start the upload until we have finished the whole wizard. So I click OK here. So name. The version here is not correct. See if I still have that in Windows V somewhere. I do. So here is the version. I like to have that in the name as well. So Google Chrome x64. Description. It's very important if um, you have it in the company portal, self-service. I'm going to put uh, GBN uh, uh, browser. And we can do this one bold with the two asterisks. Something simple like that. It's not so important for this. Publisher, that would be Google. Category, I'll put the productivity. Do we show this as a feature app in the company portal? No, we're actually going to put this in company portal just because it's easier for us to see to run it. But normally Google Chrome, that's something all machines should probably have. Um, I'll do a note. I put today's date of this recording and I put my own name. So if anyone is wondering what's that, they can seek me out. I'll select an image. And we browse that one. I go up one and that's our logo, Google Chrome here. OK, so the first part done. Let's go next. The program, we get a lot of for free here because we chose the MSI. We're not going to keep any of this. It is hard coded to system. That's good. And we're going to put no specific action. But here we are going to uh, run a specific command. So we're going to first run powershell.exe and we're going to set execution policy to bypass because by default, and we had that previous video, is restrict, restricted. And I see execution policy, we have to type, I have to type correctly, execution policy, Ex yes. And then file, what should we run? We should run our, I do backslash, uh, it's under files. Is it on the files? Let's verify where it is. So our root is the source. It's not underscore files. It's directly. We want to run this one, gbn install. So we don't need any path. We can run exactly gbn install.ps1. And this file will, depending on if uh, Chrome is started or not, Either way, it's going to run the deploy application.exe, but if it's using um, service UI.exe or not. So this line looks good. If not, our uninstallation is going to be app uh, deploy application application. So here we want to know the deployment type and we can go to our PDF, which we looked at earlier. And if we do control F and put deployment type, we want deployment type uninstalled. So we can copy that one here. Copy and we'll go back here. So for uninstallation, we, we're still running deploy application.exe, right? And then deployment type uninstall. So that looks good. So we can go to next. 
requirements. There are not so many requirements for Google Chrome, but we have to fill in the two first one at least. So 64-bit OS definitely have to be and minimum operating system. I'd be nice and allow 1903. It could uh, work on the smaller and it's about 69 megabyte. No other requirement. Detection rule that we're going to get for free because when we create the Intune Win file, we chose an MSI. So I'm going to do manual configuration detection rules, add, and then use MSI. And we have went through all these uh, options in previous video, MSI. And this one we get for free, but only because we already, because when we create the Intune Win file, it shows the MSI file. So I click OK there. Dependency, Google Chrome has no dependency. It doesn't need Adobe Air or .NET Framework or anything. So we'll go next. It doesn't supersede any, any other. For assignment here, I'm going to add it to all users. So we in next video will see it and can run it on command because normally you would put it required and push it out. But we want to have Google Chrome started so we see the PS App Deployment Toolkit and all the scripts we have done. So let's add for all users. Uh, for show all toast notification, normally I like that, but since our uh, PS app deployment toolkit is taking care of that, I'm gonna to remove that. You can keep it, but then you get extra notification from Intune itself. Since PS app deployment toolkit take care of that, I'm gonna hide all toast notification. In the foreground, that's good. That goes faster than in the background. That's good for um, company portal as soon as possible. Perfect. We go next. Review. The only thing where it's easy to do mistake is in the in install command. Let me zoom in here a bit. Here. And the uninstallation we're not going to run, but that's going to work fine our requirements, detection rules to see if it's actually installed. Okay, looks good. We hit create and now it's gonna upload it. So any day now, hey, it's uploaded, yoohoo. So it's finished to upload. So now if I go to properties, we should see a blue edit. So now we can edit, but that's it. Very good. So now we have the application and we put it, um, available for all users. So in next video, we will test this out. And that will be the last video in this uh, series of Win32 app creation in Intune. Thank you very much and see you in next video.